actually, now that I see that great big limb, that might be a problem. I better not go underneath that maple. I think it might, friends. I'm looking at a huge fir limb, if you can see it. Let's see, just a minute, bear with me here. I'll get this in here for you, right there. That one right dead square in the middle of the screen, see it? Now, as I pan out, like if it's hooked into a maple limb, friends, do you, do you know what I'm saying? Like if it, it, it's not getting banged nowhere. So these are, these are the things a guy's got to be careful here of. And I see that limb. I can follow that fur limb all the way out. I see it. It goes under a maple limb. Not terribly, but it does. She's been dead a while, not terribly long. But it looks to me that I got to get rid of that thing too, behind it. And, uh, and send it up, up in there or maybe up there. Up there might be better. Maybe I can slip by that, that guy right there. Maybe I'll slip by that one and leave it stand for a woodpecker uh, gig. Yeah, maybe I can. Because as you see, it, it, it's growing out this way. And I may just, it's good size stem. The backfill killed it, friends. I think the road killed it. But as I pan up, this is that one I was telling you guys about. See it? I've, I've actually, oh, see, there's that maple. <laughs> it's a bag she's a bang it'll come it'll it'll come i've i've, I've banged worse I, I have i've actually banged worse friends so friends you you folks hear me talk of plates all the time right plates each each piece of that's a plate a side plate a back plate a front plate and another side plate you guys hear me talk about this stuff all the time so if this was any worse of a lean I would probably do a, a back cut first. It's a big stem to do a back cut first and I could do that right now. Honestly, I could. That way I would lose nothing because soon as I break my front plate, do you understand friends? That plate runs, that plate runs from the roots all the way to the very tippy top. It's a plate of wood. Now, as soon as I break it, it's gonna wanna lean back into its lean. It's just physics, that's what happens. So to be quite honest with you, friends, to be quite honest, if I didn't want to lose anything, I would put a back cut in this tree first and smash wedges. That's, that's what I would do. And I would rather, back, oh, look at, look at it from here. Look, look at this. <laughs> right? Yeah. But, but, Ooh, I hope that thing doesn't screw me over that limb there. It could be a problem, but I'll just keep stacking. I think I'm just going to cut it up normal, but I am going to shank that off. I almost feel like putting a back cut in it just to show you guys the process. And I do not recommend that in residential areas. I do not recommend back cut first until you get it down. It is a wonderful tool to have. That's a tall freaking tree, Freds. Look at this. He's all his timber around here is a buck thirty-five to a buck sixty. It is. It's tall. It's 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 big second growth, like big dirty second growth. And that tree, that dead one. Look at it. It's towering. There's another one there. He's he backfilled quite a bit of stuff in here, friends, and he loses trees now and again. So we're just keeping it safe for him. Let's get out the eighty-sixer and. Okay, where'd it go? Oh, I'm, I passed it here. Okay, well, so we'll see. I, I mean, one thing I do know I gotta do is I gotta bang the bark off the back side of it, friends. I, I just, I do, I have to bang that bark off the back side, no doubt about it. Because I want lift and I need lift. So I'm just gonna crack that bark off. I might use this council axe. Great big clobber and axe. I got an axe off a of council tool. It's supposed to be a split axe, but I have better splitting axes than this. So I shortened it into a, into a wedge banger, friends. A, a big timber banging axe. It's that council tool. You know the one, friends. 
It's got a good pole for banging wedges. It's not the greatest split in profile, but it does split wood. It does, I'll be honest. It's not, well, there's worse. You can get worse. It ain't no wood bullet, but hey, it, it, does, it does the job. Um, but it is a good uh, timber banging ax. It's a little bit big for my pouch, but it does go in. Um, but it's for big timber. And you can cut this off with your power saw if you want, but I don't do that. Especially alongside of a road. Anybody guess why? There we go. So now I mark that. You see, I'm going in right there with my, with my wedges. These are all steps a guy's got to take. He's got a great, this is going to work nice now. Right? So could you imagine trying to bang your wedge, right? Trying to bang your wedge in this, in that stuff. Look at it. There, there's nothing there and then you, so you just, you lose lift is what happens, friends, okay? You lose lift. So now, now that I know where my back cut is, I just scribe a line around the front. You will notice it's gonna take a bang, a bang and a half. So let's get, let's get, a, uh, um, let's get marked up here with this, with this wedgeman ship here. See this stuff? See it? Okay, so my back cut's going right there. You see? Undercut, right there. Because I want to be a little above, you see? Boom, undercut, right here. Friends, notice how smooth the saw is on a straight cut like this. But when you throw it, the undercut in, your dogs grab unevenly and you'll notice, watch. Just, just listen to the saw on the undercut. This is why it's so important to have your rakers set. Listen here. Okay, hey friends, you see how I'm coming in here? I'm coming in on the high wood, or this side of the wood, but I'm, I'm actually not coming straight in the back. I'm, I'm bringing the wood around so that I've got that post of, over there on the far side. See, I go have a look to see how much wood I got there. There's a whole bunch, but it's, like I, I'm in. So watch how I place the wedge now. So friends, the, the, the decision comes how heavy the lean is, how you cut your tree up, how deep you go, what you decide to do. There, that tree's mine. This tree is now mine. It's mine, it doesn't matter anymore because I've actually set the wedge and I'm not on the back of my bar. So now I'm laughing, but you still can run into problems. You, you can, 
you got to creep in now. I'm just setting the saw up. It's, it hasn't been running a while and it's cooler, so I got to get it running right. But do you understand what I mean by that? You can run into problems right away. You can be on the back of your bar and you can smack your wedge into the back of your bar and you can do strange things. It's very, very important to just think about all this stuff. That's why you assess your lean. So friends, real quick, once you sink wedges, like this isn't, this isn't as bad as I originally thought, I'm in. Like now it's just about creating a hinge and staying on your lean and not getting caught because you can still get caught. You can, if you cut too much wood before you cut, cut, creep, creep, cut, cut, creep, creep. So at this point, she's all ours, but you can still find yourself in problems. So now it's about the wedgemanship. Let's carry on. tree's all cut up it's all cut up right I don't like it's there's an inch there's about an inch across the stump see about an inch across the stump see there it sits I've got a big wedge in it I got a little wedge in it and it's it's cut up it's time for it to go now but did you hear that wedge? You didn't see it, but Bartan may have it on there. That big wedge bounced on me right near the end there. So it's cut up. I'll back you guys out. I'll just bang it over now. Give you a nice wide view. So it's cut up, but I am gonna fire up my saw because I like to have, if I need a little bit of zap zap, I got it, friends. Do you understand? If I if I need a little bit of something on the way out, I've got it. I'm idling and I'm in there.
don't need this saw here. This thing's gone. It, it's lifting so easy now. Isn't that amazing, Bartan? Oh, yeah. That's it. There it is. See that little limb there? Now it's hooked up in that maple there. Fur, there it goes, he shook that fur, there it goes. It's gone. Look at friends, do you know what's holding that right now? Hey, watch. Bartan, have you got me on film? just literally on the verge so Bartan grab me on your on your uh, camera there you got her Friends, who can guess how many feet the top of that tree moved? Seriously, like think about it for a second. If you know your math, and if you know what one inch at the ground is, which means translated to a hundred feet, just say a hundred for easy numbers. How far do you think we lifted that tree, friends? Answer in the comments. See all them big limbs by the tree there? You stand and watch your work, you're getting it. You're not gonna be around long. Let's go look at this stump. Oh, where's our camera? Oh, there it is, 14 minutes. It's incredible what one limb will do, right? One, well, this is the problem with one little limb up there, Vartan. This is, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna use Vartan as the tree, okay? He is a tree. So I don't want to be a tree. So just say, friends, I was I was the tree, and I was up there, and and my limb, you're good. My I was trying to go by this way, oh. and and my limb had room before it hit. Now it can go like this, nit, 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 and then hit. It's got momentum, but if it's in like this, and I'm trying to bang, I'm not kidding you. A one inch limb, as you saw, will just hold me there. You'll be bending the tree, and all of a sudden you'll hear. So you've got to really investigate and, and look what came down on us, friends. Right? This is what, you know, I, I try to stress to folks, you know, it's all fine and dandy, but the internet, just be careful where you're, be careful what you're doing. 
it, it's all fun and games until someone gets it, man. Uh, nice deep undercut so I could get that working. But you see, you, you guys saw how I came in on the, on the wedges, right? So and how I came in was like this, I'll show you. This wedgemanship is important. A lot of people, they, they, don't, they don't understand it. They just stick a wedge in the back and start going. And that's, that's fine, but it's, it's not good thought process. I'll show you what I did. It was about 40%, and that was for a reason. Now, this is what I did. I went like this, whop, 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 to about there. And then I brought my first wedge in. I'm like right here, friends, I'm right, I can eat all this up I want. But if you come in straight like this, you, you've got to be careful. This just allows you, this allows you now, when you go like this, to go like this, friends. Look at, right? Pop, 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 right? So, so that's what I did. You review it, review it. I went like that, bang, bang on an angle. Cut, cut, cut. Came over here, set this one in, bang, 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 started bringing this around and then started working like that. So. They, they teach you to not just come in like this sometimes. We had lots of wood here and it was a big tree, but on smaller trees, this is so important. Just get your cut in on your dogs and start working this way or this way. Because look, look what you can do. I got all that wood back there holding that. You see, you come in like this, you're, you're going to be on your bar and you're going to be on your, you know what I mean? On your chain quick but you come in like this. I've even made wedges designed for this. So it come out very nice, friends. That, that chain cut quite nice. It's a fresh ground, uh, semi, full semi skip. Very happy with that. But you don't have to dance around it like a freaking leprechaun freaking out all the time. Just relax, get control of the tree. Like we did, we got control of it. And, uh, I gotta be honest, I like this little banger. I like this little guy. This is quite nice, this. That's my little, that's my little heavy banger, that one. Yeah, I like it. I kind of like that one a lot, actually. But like this, like that, this sucker. What do you think, Barton? Nice work, as usual. Not bad, eh, bud? We did it again. And then I brought my... Friends, here's a little review. See how I'm going in here? See, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just on the side of the tree. Just enough to get a wedge in. See this? Wop, wop. Now, I've got lots of wood to work with, but all I need to do is get a wedge set. See? And I've still got that whole other side there. See, grab my axe. I know I'm going to be banging here, getting set. But I look up and I'm like, we got to get this in here now. Because you don't want to get, you want to get behind. You see? See what I'm doing here? Boom. That tree's mine. That's it. It's set. And I got bar. See? I'm, I'm good. So I just wanted to review that, to explain that.